Hello folks, this is Aitan Anjha from InspiredRise.com and today we are going to talk about the AMD Ryzen 5 3600. So guys, this video was done because of this awesome motherboard X570 Aorus Pro Wi-Fi. And let's just do a very quick unboxing of this motherboard. This is the motherboard which we used in this specific build and in this test bench. So we used it along with the AMD Ryzen 5 3600 processor and we also used the Aorus ATC 800 cooler which is quite a good RGB cooler. Unfortunately our CPU came in this suspicious looking packaging and this is the Ryzen 5 3600 as you can see clearly. 6 core 12 thread 4.2 GHz turbo boost clock 3.6 GHz base clock and now it's time to install it. So on this X570 Aorus Pro Wi-Fi motherboard, we installed it courtesy Voltage PC Nehru Place. Thank you guys. And you can get custom PCs built over there. So this whole process took some time installing the CPU cooling paste and then installing the whole setup and installing this nice cool RGB fan. And then we also got a 16 gigabyte 3200 MHz DDR4 RAM stick for running along with this one. And then apart from that, we also used the RTX 2060 GPU from Zotac. And finally, the build was done with all RGB light for emphasis and better performance. And now let's take a closer look at what we ran the setup on. So it was a 144Hz monitor, quite good predator monitor. And then we also went into the BIOS to set up the XMP profile. And we didn't overclock the CPU or anything but we ran it on the base profile with this specific cooler. If you're somebody who's feeling really good, you can always overclock it in order to get better performance. If you talk about the specifications, it's a 6 core 12 thread processor, 4.2 GHz is the turbo boost clock and it comes with 16 MB of L3 cache. And if you talk about few other things, we use the 2060 GPU over here. And uh, apart from that, if we had ran a dual channel memory, it would have been definitely better. If I talk about the gaming and benchmark performance, so gaming is something which is more geared towards the GPU, but still I can say that it didn't bottleneck anything like the RTX 2060 and the frames were really good enough. And you can even pair it with some more powerful GPU very easily because it's a really powerful processor. And I don't believe that it would bottleneck any of the current modern GPUs. So my specific conclusion is that it would be a great gaming CPU for a lot of people who are looking for something good on a budget and also they, it would be a great productivity CPU as well because of the 6 core 12 thread which it offers. And now let's talk about the benchmarks. So on the Cinebench R20, it scored around 3544 points. And if you compare it to something like the Core i9-9900K running on 4.7 GHz, then it's definitely lower. But if the Ryzen 5 3600 is overclocked up to 5 GHz, things could definitely get better. And if I talk about the CPU-Z benchmark, there also it showed a very good single core score. I think this is the first time that I've seen such good scores for an AMD processor. So it can be seen that it's better than few 8 core processors also in this particular benchmark. And overall, it does offer a good level of performance. On the Geekbench, you can also see the scores over here. So these were the Geekbench scores for the CPU. Particularly, uh, I ran this in normal clock conditions and I didn't overclock this CPU. This is also because of the fact that I didn't have access to good liquid cooling at that point of time. And also because of the fact that some people have already ran benchmarks using Linux and liquid cooling and overclocking and they got really high benchmark scores for this particular processor. It retails for a price of $199 and for such pricing it offers great performance at a very cost effective price point and I believe that it would be a great processor for a lot of people out there and if you are not gonna invest in the X570 motherboards which are really expensive then maybe it would be a great upgrade choice for you. Otherwise I see the fact that the X570 chipset based motherboards are uh, really pricey right now and that does not uh, make for a very great value proposition for a lot of people but still I believe that for people who are looking for good performance and a great productivity CPU they might really go towards the Ryzen 5 3600 for an initial build. So guys this was it for this video. In case you like this one don't forget to smash the thumbs up button and do subscribe to Inspire to Rise for more awesome tech videos like this one and guys no matter what you do stay inspired to rise.